people hear words like gun control and gun restrictions, they think that people like Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders are going to come knocking down their doors and just take all their guns. But that's not what's going to happen. They've got way too many important things on their hands. They hire somebody else to do it. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but that's not what's going to happen at all. Um, it would just be restrictions on who can get guns. And so, and it is a big problem. This year alone, so far, we're only like four months in, and there have been 19,399 gun-related incidents um, in which someone was hurt or killed. Um, last year, there was over 58,000, according to Gun Violence Archive. Um, I've done extensive research on this topic, and I've looked at various types of massive sources to guarantee that this is a credible speech. And if, so if the federal government gives you the right to own a gun, then the federal government also has the right to control those guns. Um, right now it is ran at a state level, and um, so over 19,000 incidents so far this year, it's gun related crime, so that's something that the U.S. government should probably be looking into. Um, and then some people would say that uh, it's in the Constitution and that they get to have their guns, and yes, you're right, but it, it, all, it says before that, a well-regulated militia. When was the last time this country really had a militia? We don't have a militia anymore, so we don't need that. And all I'm saying is just more restrictions, not take your guns. And then some people say that places that have more restrictions end up having more gun crime. Not only does that not really make sense, it's also not backed up by any data at all. When you look at the data, places that have more gun restrictions have lower gun-related crime incidents. And then people think that victims of assault need guns to protect themselves. The National Crime Victimization Survey showed that only nine, that 99.2% did not use a gun. So it's not going to leave victims defenseless because they don't have a gun because they didn't use a gun in the first place. They didn't want a gun in the first place. And then some people, I read once when I typed in gun control, like one of the first things that came up was like, just because the gun is this type of gun, it's really not, it's like, but it, it's not the type of gun that we're keeping from people, it's the type of people that we're going to keep from guns. Um, but how are we going to do this? So in other countries like Finland, you need a license to get a gun. Um, you need to prove that you're a member of a shooting club. You need to take an aptitude test. You need to do a police interview. And you need to show that you have the correct gun storage to keep it safe and away from people that shouldn't have it. In Italy, you have to have a gun permit. You need to have a valid reason for wanting to have a gun. You need to have a background check, both criminal records and mental health records. Um, and I kind of assumed that those would be things that you had to get a gun in the United States, but as I've gone on, I've learned that, no, those aren't requirements. It depends by the state. Some states have little to no requirements on who can own a gun. Um, now, those are what other countries are doing, but sometimes what other countries do isn't the best for us. Um, so what would be the best for us? I think that people that have felonies, domestic violence, and really just any type of violent offense shouldn't be allowed to have a gun. If, and that all guns should be registered. If you already own one, just register your gun. I don't shouldn't be that hard. And then safely storing a gun, it kind of seems like a weird one. I would have never thought of that. But other countries have tried it. Even some of the states in our country have adopted the idea. It's really easy, and it's a great way to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands and stuff like that. Um, this, All these restrictions and things like that will lead to lower gun-related crimes across the nation. It will lead us to progress in being a better country. Um, gun-related homicides per one th in other countries per 100,000 people. In Italy, it was 0.71. In Canada, it was 0.5. In Germany, it was 0.2. In the UK and France, it was 0.1. The United States had 3.2. That's almost two times larger than all those other countries combined. It's a lot. <laughs> um, if the federal government gives us the right to own a gun, then the federal government has the right to control them. More guns will lead to less crime. And I want to encourage all of you to just make your to make your opinions known to your representatives and vote for candidates that will help with gun control. And we need to limit 
who buys and owns guns. This morning when I was looking at the item on the card, it said 18,934 people have been related to gun incidents. And then my computer refreshed and it said 19,389. And then later, right before this class, I looked at it again and it said 19,399. It increased by 465 since each time that I looked at it. That's a lot. Like, when you really think about it, it really is. Just for over the course of a day. And we have to remember that with freedom comes responsibility.